This is a quick video of how to use the development template to document OSC work. So the page on the wiki is called Development Spreadsheet Template or Development Template. wiki.opensourceecology.org slash wiki slash development spreadsheet template. We use this template to, to document all the work for a given development project. If you're ready to start a new project, use the simple template. There's also a more, compl more advanced one the full template of about 40 items. The simple template has about 20 items, the basics of what you need to document a project fully. So starting with requirements, going on to things like CAD, calculations, bills and materials, build instructions, data collection, and so forth. This is where you document everything and every project gets a new development template for any new build because every just about every build will be slightly different. You might have different bills of different sourcing, different tooling, different conditions, and that's why, in general, a lot of the hardware builds, each of them is a fork. So set up a, when you're ready to build and design, set up the simple template, and to do that, click Edit underneath the template. There's a little Edit button, and it takes you to the, the Google spreadsheet that does it, and then go into File, and then make a copy of this so that you create a copy that you can then embed in your own uh, Google Doc Drive. So here, go to make a copy and call it a uh, new project or whatever, whatever. Say it's the 3D printer in Germany. Okay, click, click OK. And now you have a new empty spreadsheet template that you can use. Now, the way it works is each of these uh, each of these is documented as far as what it means. So you can actually click on each item in a development template to see what it is. Like, for example, 3D CAD. How do you do 3D CAD? Here's the instruction if you do, go to the 3D CAD design page. So that's all hyperlinked in the first column. Now here, in the blue column, you simply put in a link to the wiki page where you put in your, your documentation for your particular project. And in the gnoming naming nomenclature is project version of v for example 18.06 18, 18 for stands for 2018 and 6 stands for june so name it typically v like v18.06 or whatever corresponds to the year and month so say 3d printer cad v18.06 would be the actual wiki page so so on a so, for example, 3D printer CAD V, uh, small v, 18.06. That's where you put, you, for example, put your actual documentation. So you copy and paste it. So once you're ready to do that, you, you paste that into the spreadsheet right there. And there it goes. And now here, depending on the state of completion, put 0 through 10. So say you just started the CAD. You, you might have done some work. Say that's level of completion is 2. And what happens at the very bottom as you see, it gets tallied up. For whatever completion you have, it automatically updates the, the status of completion. So say you had a bunch of stuff, so that's 6% done here, and so forth. So this is tabulated automatically, and then you can actually embed this to do a burn down, which is another process. Look on, on the wiki, look under burn down. Uh, so there's a wiki page called burn down, and you can see how you actually generate the burn down graph for any development project. Now here, once you're done with uh, creating this template, you say, say for example, 3D printer in Germany, take file, publish this, publish this on your log. So simply go to publish to the web, go to embed, publish, okay. Uh, copy the embed code, then wherever you, you started your page, 3D, say the 3D printer CAD version 18.06, embed it. And to embed it, you go type in um, the embed code in between HTML tags, save, and there you have your uh, spreadsheet template embedded. Now you see the, the size is a little off, so you can resize it. So to do that, you go right after the quotes. Here you go, width equals 500, height equals 500, for example, and that will do it. 
Yeah, so resize it. And then it's useful to underneath this so that you can edit this, uh, go into the edit mode and underneath it, put in an edit link. So copy and paste the URL of your document and then put in that URL, edit, So just to show you, click that, do that URL, add it, and the brackets. What you'll see is your spreadsheet template, your, your spreadsheet of, of documentation. And underneath that, you will have an edit. Uh, the screen is cutting off here, but underneath that, I promise you will have the edit. Um, can't see it, it's cut off at the bottom, but there's an edit link at the bottom. So you can access, when you click on an edit, which is what I did just now, it takes you to the actual editable document. So that's it for how to embed the development spreadsheet template on your log and start any new development project. So it's very critical to make sure everything is tracked for any given project so that there is no mix up in different versions or different projects uh, and wiki pages not knowing which wiki page goes to which project. This template, the spreadsheet organizes that all for a given project. So thank you. Until next time.